Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. So we have come back to the site of the uh, off-grid cabin. So I'm just back really for the first time this year looking very closely at it, uh, trying to figure out what I still have left to do. I think what we'll do is just do a little bit of exploratory work with the backhoe. We're going to swing the tractor around, put the backhoe into action, and try to break this stuff up here just so I can scoop it out with the front end loader. And maybe we'll get to that stump and get that out of there too. All right, let's swing things around, get the backhoe in place and see what goes on. Well, that was actually pretty easy. I mean, that, uh, that one is uh, quite a large stump, but I've got myself into a spot here where I need the grapple to move these things out of the way. So I've got to do a little bit of kind of flattening down over here because this is where I need to take the tractor to get rid of these stumps. But, like I say, I need to get the grapple on. So I think I'm just gonna swing around, do a little bit of scooping to try to clean this up a little bit. And then uh, we're gonna head back and we'll see what we can do come morning. We're back and back to work. I got the grapple on the tractor this time. We're gonna get rid of these two stumps and then continue kind of flattening and, and uh, clearing. Lots of rocks to move. I've got at least one more stump to get rid of. 
So let's get to work. you guys have been enjoying today's video and if you are enjoying it I'd really appreciate the like and I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel and if you've got any suggestions thoughts anything like that I'd love to hear from you all right let's get back to work well that's pretty good we're down to pretty much the size of lot that I'm looking for I still have a little bit of leveling work to do, but the stumps are all gone. That grapple slash root rake is just great for tearing this kind of stuff up. And I'm getting a quite a pile there. Now I'm gonna start moving that farther down the trail to uh, that low spot that is just before the pipe down there in order to create a turnoff point for the tractor. So that will be next, but for now, we're gonna go get a bite of lunch and then we'll come back and get at it again. All right, let's see what we can do here. All 
right, I think it's time to change to the shovel. is good at stuff like brakes and using it as a grapple and whatnot, but not so good for spreading. Well, folks, we're making really good progress. I've still got to take some out of this back corner, but we have a little something that we've got to address first here before we go any farther. The trail is soft. So I've been putting fill in here while I've been taking stuff down. And we have made really good progress in filling down here. So you can see this part is high and dry and in good shape. So I'm now pretty much to the point where I can get to this rock with the backhoe and get it out of here. But I want to do a little reinforcing of the trail. So I'm going to start bringing rocks down here. I want to put rocks all along this edge of the creek uh, in order to have something to catch the earth here so I can fill it and pack it just like the these other parts of the trail are with uh, my rock borders and that kind of thing. And this will be a turnaround point for the tractor. And we're getting close to that being usable but not quite, and things are just too soft uh, right now. So I need to add wood chips to this. All right, we're ready to go for tomorrow. So our next step will be bringing in our rocks for the side of the creek and then getting the big wood chipper on the back of the tractor and uh, we'll start making chips for the trail to help preserve the trail as we need that. So before hauling rocks down there with the small trailer on the back of the ATV, I wanna reinforce that path with more chips. So that will be the next job. Our site for the off-grid cabin is looking pretty good. We're, we're pretty close. It is obviously still quite rough. I still need to uh, do more work on that to smooth it out. And then we can actually think about laying out where the cabin's gonna go. And we may even get a start on it this year. But uh, that depends, we'll see how it goes. Well, that's going to be it for today's video, folks. I hope you found it interesting or maybe a little bit entertaining. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a like, share it around, 
and I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. That would really help. We're making good progress here, so on our next video, we'll be right back to work at setting things up for the off-grid camp. So stay tuned. Remember to be safe out there, be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time. Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs>